Hi, this is Jennifer with iCadenza, and I'm here with Courtney Jones, a fantastic trumpeter who just played at the Classical Underground series here in uh, Southern California. So I'm going to ask you some questions. Wonderful job tonight, Thank first you. of all. Thank tell you. us about the two pieces you played. They were very, very different in tone and range, and it was awesome how you transitioned from one to the other. Right. Well, thank you. Um, the first piece that I played was a, tr a classical piece. I was in the traditional repertoire of the trumpet called the Hummel Concerto. And it's in three movements, just like most concertos are in three movements, or one long concerto. But this one was in three movements. I only played the second and third movement. And it's just one of those things that um, you learn, you know, like, like reading a certain book or, you know, doing a certain, like, you know, you get your license at 15, you start driving at 16. Well, this is what you do, you know, and this is one of the things I want to present to, um, to uh, the Classic Underground series, just something for a standard repertoire of the Homo Concerto. And the second piece that I did was uh, Allah Albanese by Rodion Sedrin. And uh, that piece uh, was written for Timothy Dokshitzer, who was a famous Russian uh, trumpet player. And uh, Shedrin wrote this piece in the style of Isaac Albanez, who was a Spanish pianist and composer. So it's very esoteric and aleatoric, so you kind of have a, uh, a chance, but kind of ebb and flow between the accompaniment and the soloist was more like a duet mm -hmm. compared to just solo and accompaniment. Yeah. And those are beautiful contrasting pieces to hear. Thank you. And the trumpet has just such a wonderful sound, you know, that really reminds you there's something very human about it. And so what's it like playing that and your experience spending a lot of time with the trumpet? Well, it's it's a difficult instrument, you know, um, but the thing that you want to try to do, because the trumpet was the only instrument that kind of mimics the voice, you know, and that can be uh, crossed on different genres, you know, classical to jazz, to rock, to pop, to to whatever you want to call it. But uh, for me, I just enjoy playing it, trying to get a great sound and, you know, and just making it do what it do. And how did you choose the trumpet as your instrument to begin with? Okay, you might think this is a cliche, but I'm, I'm telling the truth, all right? So I originally wanted to play the violin, all right? I just wanted to play the violin, and I swear this is the truth, okay? So I was going, had my mind set on playing the violin, and we were getting ready, my mom and I were getting ready to go to the, um, the, uh, the music store to get my instrument. As Soon as I walked in, I opened the door, and this, this beam of light hit me, okay? I, I kid you not, I'm, I'm serious. And, and when I walked up, it was a silver trumpet, and it was a blessing trumpet. So divine inspiration, I don't know, I don't know. But uh, that's the true story. You can ask my mom. Just don't call her because she might, you know, hang up on you. But just take my word for it. But well, yeah. it helps having a shiny instrument for that kind of inspiration. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so that's how I kind of played it. Went in for the violin and I was like, oh, wow, what's this? It looks pretty cool. It's shiny. And, you know, the young kids are, oh, that's shiny compared to a dull violin. Nothing wrong. Violins, you know, I'm just saying. Uh, I just went play trumpet. Yeah. Some good eye candy there, and yes. uh, sounds like it was a perfect fit for you. Well, it has been. Sometimes it's a good day, and sometimes it's not so good, you know? Dizzy Gillespie, famous jazz trumpeter, says in one of his quotes, you wake up one morning, and you play the trumpet, and you win, you know? <laughs> then you wake up the next morning, and you play the trumpet, the trumpet wins. But then you die, and the trumpet still wins. You see what I'm saying? So, yeah, it's one of those things. Yeah. It's good to have big challenges like that in life. So, what's next for you? What are your upcoming performances? Well, um, I'm not too sure. Well, right now, actually, I'm heading to, uh, in 12 hours, I'll be flying out to Georgia to play with Columbus State University in Columbus, Georgia. And uh, I'll be coming back to do a concert with the UCLA uh, Brass Ensemble mm -hmm. here with uh, Brass Fire and... Um, and that should be an interesting, interesting concert at, at UCLA. So mm -hmm. keep keep that in mind. If you guys want to check that out, UCLA Brass Fire, um, May 10th uh, is the date. Schoenberg. So definitely check that out. It's going to be their their uh, national uh, North American debut, and it's it's going to be great. It's not a concert. It's a show with like theatrics, fog machines, lighting. I mean. It's going to be amazing. Aww. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Well, we definitely will be there and hope to talk to you again then. Yeah. So great speaking with you great, and nice congratulations you. on a wonderful concert. Great. Thank you. Thank you.